Zero Day Vulnerability, the hidden flaw that makes hackers grin like a Cheshire cat. Imagine a world where the locks on your home could be silently deciphered and manipulated without your knowledge, allowing intruders to slip in undetected. Now, picture this scenario in the digital realm. This is the essence of a zero-day vulnerability. These are the hidden flaws in software that, like invisible cracks in a dam, can cause catastrophic leaks before anyone notices the damage. Hackers exploit these vulnerabilities, relishing the chaos and harm they can inflict as they remain concealed within the shadows of the digital landscape. Zero-day vulnerabilities are essentially undetected software bugs that hackers can exploit before developers are even aware of their existence. The term zero-day refers to the number of days the software vendor has had to fix the flaw, which is none. These vulnerabilities are digital landmines, invisible until stepped upon, causing unexpected and often severe consequences. The creation of zero-day vulnerabilities is often a byproduct of the complex nature of modern software development. As developers push out increasingly sophisticated software at rapid speeds, the likelihood of overlooking potential security flaws increases. It's akin to building a vast network of underground tunnels without knowing where all the weak structural points are located. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial for both developers and users as they navigate the digital world, where the unseen can be the most dangerous threat. Zero-day vulnerabilities are usually discovered by hackers who meticulously test the security of software applications to find exploitable bugs. These cybercriminals, or sometimes security researchers, use a variety of tools and techniques to poke and prod at software until they uncover a flaw that can be used to gain unauthorized access or cause other harmful effects. The exploitation of these vulnerabilities can vary from installing malware to stealing sensitive data or even taking control of the affected systems. Hackers can execute complex attacks that silently infiltrate systems, often leaving no trace until the damage has been done. The typical attackers range from solo black hat hackers to organized criminal groups, and their methods are continually evolving, making zero-day exploits a moving target in the realm of cybersecurity. Throughout the history of cybersecurity, there have been numerous high-profile zero-day attacks that have left indelible marks on both private corporations and government entities. One of the most infamous was the Stuxnet worm, discovered in 2010, which targeted industrial control systems and is believed to have been crafted by a nation state. Another significant attack was the exploitation of a zero-day vulnerability in Adobe Flash Player, which was used to deploy the FinSpy spyware. This exploit was used for years before being discovered, highlighting the stealthy nature of zero-day threats. These historical examples serve as stark reminders of the potential impact of zero-day vulnerabilities, emphasizing the need for robust security measures and rapid response strategies. The trading of zero-day vulnerabilities occurs in the murky depths of the cyber underworld. These digital flaws are highly valued commodities in black markets where anonymity and secrecy are paramount. Prices can soar, depending on the severity and potential impact of the vulnerability, with some fetching hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. This clandestine market operates through encrypted communications and often involves cryptocurrency transactions to further shield the identities of buyers and sellers. The high stakes and the lucrative nature of this market attract a plethora of participants, from rogue hackers to more organized cyber criminal entities, Understanding the dynamics of this dark market is essential for cybersecurity professionals who aim to preemptively identify and mitigate these threats before they are exploited. The buyers of zero-day exploits include a wide array of actors, each with their own motivations and intended uses. National governments often purchase these exploits for cyber espionage or cyber warfare purposes, seeking to strengthen their national security by gaining an edge over adversaries. On the darker side, criminal organizations buy these exploits to commit crimes, such as data theft, financial fraud, or even disrupting critical infrastructure. Additionally, some cybersecurity firms acquire these vulnerabilities to analyze and develop defenses against them. 
although this practice can be controversial. The motivations behind purchasing zero days are as varied as the buyers themselves, ranging from defending a nation to committing high-stakes cybercrimes. Sellers of zero-day vulnerabilities can be independent hackers, cybersecurity researchers, or members of sophisticated hacking groups. Their motivations for selling these exploits are primarily financial, but there are also those who are driven by the challenge and the notoriety that comes from discovering and selling a significant zero-day. However, ethical considerations arise when discussing the sale of zero days. While some argue that selling these exploits to governments and security firms can enhance overall security, others believe that it contributes to the proliferation of cyber weapons and potentially puts innocent users at risk. The debate over the morality of selling zero-day exploits is ongoing, with valid arguments on both sides pointing to the complex nature of cybersecurity ethics. Governments play a dual role in the world of zero-day vulnerabilities. On one hand, they are major buyers, using these tools for national defense and intelligence gathering. On the other hand, they are also responsible for protecting their citizens from cyber threats, which includes regulating the trade and use of zero-day exploits. The use of zero days by governments has led to controversy, especially when such tools are used for surveillance or cyber warfare without oversight or accountability. Examples include the use of zero days in the Stuxnet attack and the FBI's reported use of a zero day in an iPhone to gain access to a criminal suspect's data. Balancing national security interests with ethical considerations and the rights of individuals is a significant challenge for governments dealing with zero day vulnerabilities. Preventing and defending against zero day attacks are critical components of a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. Software developers are encouraged to adopt secure coding practices and conduct regular security audits to minimize the chances of introducing vulnerabilities. For end users and organizations, keeping software up to date with the latest patches is crucial, as these updates often include fixes for known vulnerabilities. Employing advanced threat detection systems and conducting regular security training can also help in recognizing and mitigating potential zero-day exploits. Additionally, the concept of defense in depth, using multiple layers of security, can provide added protection against zero-day threats, ensuring that a breach in one layer does not compromise the entire system. The ethical considerations surrounding zero-day vulnerabilities are complex and multifaceted. On one hand, the discovery and reporting of these vulnerabilities can lead to stronger, more secure software systems. On the other hand, the sale or withholding of information about these vulnerabilities can lead to significant harm if exploited by malicious actors. The debate extends to the responsibilities of cybersecurity professionals and researchers in handling zero-day discoveries. Should they disclose these vulnerabilities to the affected companies immediately, or is there room for delayed disclosure to allow for potential gains, either monetary or research-related? These ethical dilemmas underscore the need for clear guidelines and moral frameworks within the cybersecurity community to navigate the challenging landscape of zero-day vulnerabilities. The legal landscape surrounding zero-day vulnerabilities is as varied as the international community itself. Some countries have enacted laws that criminalize the sale of zero days and their use in hacking activities while others have yet to address the issue comprehensively. In the United States, the debate over encryption and security has touched on aspects of zero-day vulnerabilities, particularly regarding the government's right to access private digital data and the implications for security and privacy. The inconsistency in legal frameworks across borders poses challenges for international cooperation and enforcement, making it difficult to comprehensively tackle the global issue of zero-day vulnerabilities. Zero-day vulnerabilities have a profound impact on cybersecurity policies at both the national and organizational levels. The threat posed by these vulnerabilities forces policymakers to consider not only defensive strategies, but also how to responsibly handle the discovery and disclosure of zero days. In response to the increasing threat, 
Some countries have started to include zero-day vulnerabilities in their national cybersecurity strategies, emphasizing the need for rapid response capabilities and international cooperation. Organizations are also revising their cybersecurity policies to include more rigorous monitoring and updating practices, aiming to reduce the window of opportunity for zero-day exploits to cause harm. As technology evolves, so too do the tactics of cyber attackers. The future of zero-day exploits will likely see an increase in sophistication, with attacks becoming more targeted and difficult to detect. This evolution will challenge existing security measures and require continuous innovation in cybersecurity defenses. Moreover, the rise of technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning could lead to automated systems being used to both discover and defend against zero-day vulnerabilities more effectively. However, these same technologies could also be utilized by attackers to create more advanced exploits. Predicting and preparing for these future challenges is crucial for maintaining digital security in an increasingly interconnected world. Public awareness and education are vital in combating the threats posed by zero-day vulnerabilities. By educating users on the importance of cybersecurity practices, such as updating software and avoiding suspicious links, the overall resilience of networks and systems can be improved. Various initiatives, such as cybersecurity awareness months and public outreach programs by governments and organizations, aim to increase the general knowledge about cyber threats and how to protect against them. Increasing public knowledge not only helps in protecting individual users, but also enhances the collective security posture by reducing the number of easy targets for hackers exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities. Zero-day vulnerabilities represent one of the most significant threats in the realm of cybersecurity. They are a potent reminder of the ongoing arms race between cyber attackers and defenders. While the landscape of zero-day threats is complex and fraught with ethical and legal challenges, it is clear that collaborative efforts, robust defense strategies, and heightened public awareness are key to mitigating these hidden dangers. As we move forward, the global community must continue to adapt and evolve its approaches to cybersecurity, ensuring that we stay one step ahead of those who seek to exploit the digital vulnerabilities that lie hidden in plain sight. Thank you for engaging with this critical issue through our exploration of zero-day vulnerabilities.